welcome to SQL Server. Now, in this video, we are going to look at how to add a new column to already existing table in SQL Server. Now, here you can see that in this database org structure, we have a table called employee. Now, in this table employee, we would like, let us say that we have employee ID, first name, last name, age and grade now we also would like to have the salary of the employees displayed now to do that how to do how to add a new column in a table that we are going to look into this video now generally the table addition is very easy for that what we do is we use the command alter so here what we will write is alter table followed by the table name and we say the add whatever the column name we are going to add column name with data type now this is very important when you're adding a column name definitely the data type has to be different now when we're talking about salary salary is going to be what it could be in decimals or it could be an in integer so let's say that it will be a decimal because a salary could be like hundred thousand dot double zero now we will take up a rounded value where we will not be taking up a decimal we'll be taking up an integer just for the understanding purpose so i say alter table and i write the table name as employee it should actually give me an option now i say add column name as employee salary followed by the data type as the integer and I say compile it says okay and I say execute now when I say select star from employee let's see what happens you can see here employee salary it says null 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 and null 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 the reason why because we have created but we have not inserted any values in this Now, if in case we would also would like to in, enter, insert the values into this, then what we should do, we should use insert value insert values now here when you're writing insert values it is very important now for this we have two options first I pick up only this M E M P cell and then I enter it or the second option is you just enter by going into the database in the next video we will be looking at how to update these values thank you for watching this video have a great